Let's start where all legal cases should start, with the law. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 prohibited discrimination in public places, provided for the integration of schools and other public facilities, and made employment discrimination illegal. Title VII, dealing with employment discrimination, was added to the U.S. Code under Title 42, Sections 2000E through 2000E17. Within that law, we find, it shall be unlawful employment practice for an employer to fail or refuse to hire or to discharge any individual or otherwise to discriminate against any individual with respect to his compensation, terms, conditions, or privileges of employment because of such individual's race, color, religion, sex, or national origin. Later, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission added regulations requiring that employers make a reasonable accommodation for religious practice. After an employee or prospective employee notifies the employer or labor organization of his or her need for a religious exemption, the employer or labor organization has an obligation to reasonably accommodate the individual's religious practice. A refusal to accommodate is justified only when an employer or labor organization can demonstrate that an undue hardship would in fact result from each available alternative method of accommodation. First, we need to note that the regulation is 29 CFR section 1605.2C1, not 1605.1 as the court claims in the opinion syllabus. This religious accommodation requirement was eventually codified in the U.S. Code under section 2000EJ. The term religion includes all aspects of religious observance and practice as well as belief unless an employer demonstrates that he is unable to reasonably accommodate to an employee's or prospective employee's religious observation or practice without undue hardship on the conduct of the employer's business. The, the law quite clearly states that employers cannot discriminate against an individual because of their religious observance and practice unless they can show doing so would be an undue hardship on their business. What is an undue hardship? Miriam Webster's online dictionary defines undue as exceeding or violating propriety or fitness, in other words, excessive, and hardship as something that causes or entails suffering or privation. In other words, employers must make accommodation for religious practices unless it would cause excessive suffering or privation. 